Welcome to Cake Desktop Tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to utilize our class feature. First, start by logging into Cake Desktop and going to the class tab. As you can see, we have already signed in some children along with several other staff members. The child's name is located under their profile picture, followed by the class they are signed to, then the day and time they were signed in. The same applies to the staff below. Up here is a classroom filter where you can view children and staff members based on their specific classrooms. You can adjust the sizes of the portraits by dragging them here. To sign in a child, simply right click on an empty space, then sign in. Select a child, in our case, let's pick Clark Robinson. Next, you can change the time if you wish and select the guardian who dropped off the child. As you can see, Clark is signed in. To sign a child out, just right click on the child and choose the sign out option. Select the time and the guardian, then click save. The next thing you can do is submit a body check. Start by right clicking on a child, then choose body check. Here you can fill out the time the check was conducted and by which staff. Check any injuries that may apply and the severity of each. You can also add a remark specific to each injury is here. And at the bottom is where you can add more comments. You can also upload a picture of the body check or capture it from your webcam with these buttons to the lower right. Moving children from one class to the other is very easy. Just right click them and select move to followed by the classroom. As you can see, I moved Lori King from the preschool classroom to the after school classroom. If you wish to view a child's profile, you can quickly right click and go to the profile to open up their profile. Or double click on the child to view the child's profile instead of going to the child tab. Next I will go over the staff. Everything is pretty much the same. To clock in your staff, right click on an empty space and choose the clock in, the time and save. To clock out, right click on the desired employee, choose to clock out, select the time and save. You can move staff members to other classrooms quickly by right clicking on them, then move to followed by the desired classroom. To view a staff member's profile quickly, you can right click them, then profile, or you can double click on them. The last thing I would like to cover on the class tab is the refresh now button here at the top. This is primarily used in conjunction with Cake's in and out kiosk, so non-Cake members will not have to worry about this function. Pretty much when someone signs in with the in and out kiosk, Cake Desktop's class tab will have to refresh its page to be updated with the new information. You can choose to auto-refresh the page every 30 seconds by checking the box here. If you are having problems trying to sign in a child or if a child is not appearing on the sign-in list, Make sure to check under the account tab to see if the child is enrolled correctly. As you can see here, this is Anthony McCoy's enrollment form. Pay special attention to the hours of care segment here and make sure you fill in the segment completely. Here you can see the days that Anthony is allowed to sign into the child care facilities and from what time. The class here in this column is the class Anthony will automatically be assigned to when he clocks in. If you are having problems trying to clock in your staff, or if a staff member is not appearing on the clock in list, make sure to check the staff's work schedule in their profile. Make sure it is within your facility's hours of operations. We would like to thank you for watching this video, and we hope this video helps. Cake, it's not about what we do, it's about what you don't have to.